hi guys so today we will discuss about the numpy okay guys so i hope that you will like this video and please subscribe to our channel dev town so now guys coming to the part what is numpy okay let me write it on screen what is okay so numpy is a Python library used for working with arrays. Okay, so in this NumPy, we work with the arrays. Okay, it also has functions for working in domain of linear algebra, Fourier transform, and matrices. Okay, so it is also like capable of working with linear algebra, Fourier transform, and uh, matrices. And it was created in 2005 by Travis Olfant. Let me write it on the screen. It is very like, guys, important information because you should always know the little, little things. Okay, so it was created in 2005 by Travis Olfant. Okay, I hope guys that till here there everything is very much clear it is an open source project and you can use it freely so if you don't have to pay anything for it numpy stand for numerical python okay so let me write it on the screen numerical python guys okay so whenever if anyone asks you like what is numpy you can also tell that there is a numerical python the stand for so now guys coming to the part like why we use numpy okay because it is very important for us to know the reason why it was invented okay okay guys so in python the list that serve the purpose of arrays we have but it is has a very slow process okay so numpy aims to provide an array object that is up to 50x faster than traditional python list okay so like it increase the speed okay somewhere somewhere we are using this numpy because we want to save our time we we like want to save the execution time of the code when using this okay like arrays and guys one more thing the array object in numpy is called nd array let me write it on the screen okay nd array I have write it down the S. Okay, fine, guys. Array are, arrays are very frequently used in data science where speed and resources are very important, guys. And as I have told you about the like data science. Now, guys, we will learn the part like why it is faster than the list. Okay. So, NumPy arrays are stored at a one continuous place in memory unlike list. Okay. So it is stored at the one continuous place. So processes can access and manipulate them very difficult. Okay. Very efficiently. Sorry guys. So in list it is very like difficult and in this NumPy it is very efficiently. This behavior is called locality of reference in computer science. Okay guys. This behavior is called locality of reference. And guys, this is the only main reason why NumPy is faster than the list. And apart from it, it is like capable of working with the CPU, latest CPU architecture. And now guys, coming to the part like in which language NumPy written in. So NumPy is a Python library and is like written partially in Python. But most of the part that require fast computation are written in C or C++. Okay, I hope that this thing is very much clear to you. Now guys, coming to the part of the installation, so you don't have to worry on that part. Because guys, our Anaconda already supports the NumPy, so you don't have to take panic on that. You just have to simply start with the import NumPy. Okay, so this is how you import the NumPy. Okay, and you if you have to like write any program, for an example, let me create an array guys. Okay. So suppose we I am created an array. Wait a second. Okay, so I will like include numpy in it. I hope that it is very clear, guys. Okay, and then I will create the array. For example, we have the element this in the array. Okay, and now if I 
print this guys suppose if i print a see i am getting the values 1 2 3 and 4 okay so my numpy is working in this program and guys numpy is usually imported under the np alias like me show you like we was doing in the pandas so the, the same way we will like do in this let me show it on the screen because then it will be very much clear to you guys okay numpy as np okay so this is how you will import the numpy as the np and if you have to write the program in this format so how will you write okay so np dot array okay and the square bracket and in which you will like write the element okay and if i print this see i'm getting the values okay so this is how you will like import and numpy as a np and one more thing guys you can also check the numpy version okay as it is already installed in our anaconda so we have to don't panic on that part okay guys that's why i like insisted you to download the anaconda and like do the program in this only because in this the work is very much easy i hope you understand what i'm trying to explain you see i'm getting the version of the numpy and guys i have told you that array object in numpy is called nd array we can create a numpy nd array object by using the array function let me show you guys on the screen so it is very simple like we will use this line okay and let me write the variable okay np dot array okay and one two three four suppose we have this element okay and now if i print a wait a second i have done a mistake no problem it is very obvious in the programming okay suppose now if I want to like see the type of a so what i will get see guys i am getting as a numpy nd array as i have told you okay so this is how you can also check it and apart from this guys you can also like use the tuple let me show you see i am changing the bracket okay guys focus on the screen okay otherwise there will be very much confusion to you guys see guys now i'm using tuples as this uh, nd array and now guys we will talk about like the dimensions of an array there are of three and more type which is 0d 1d okay and 3d so let me start with an for an example a 0d array so how we want go like perform that let me copy this line okay because it is useless to write the same code again and again is equal to okay guys np dot array this thing is very like easy okay suppose i have a array of 30 so guys this is a 0d array okay in which we have having like one element only okay so if i print this i will get the 30 and now coming to the part what is 1d array so 1d array will be wait a second so 1d array b okay so this will be the 1d array as printed on the screen and now coming to the part what will be the 2d array so 2d array will be suppose we give a like comma in this between and now wait a second guys wait a second i have not used this like a square bracket in it to use there also see guys okay now it is a 2d array i hope that this thing is very much clear guys and now if i create a 3d array so how i'm gonna do that 
I'm gonna do that as one square bracket again in this part and one here and then I will add the comma between them okay and I will add uh, another like parts of element so suppose, suppose I have five six seven eight okay now if I print it see no this is a 3d array so this is uh, 0d and this is 3d and I have also to like how 2d works okay and now suppose guys you are having like a, a like huge number arrays like we are having a 3d 2d here suppose it is like 50x okay so it will be very much impossible for you to like count the line again and again so how you gonna do that thing is guys there is a very simple formula in the python so it is very simple you have to just type ndim okay a dot ndim and if you like run this you will get the 3 which is showing that it is a like a 3d array and now if i convert it to the 2d let me delete this guys okay yeah see now it is showing us the two okay i hope guys that this thing is very like easy art okay it is very easy you will like if you do a practice one time you will get the things very clear so see now it is like showing the one because it is a one d array so you can also check the dimension of the array by this print and dim so guys this was a like first intro of the numpy I hope guys you like this video and please subscribe to our channel DevTown.